Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nika Tokubak Saya, Aplek Saya. Welcome back, my friends. Finally, I'm back after a few months of moving interstate. I'm finally settled down. New background, tell me if you like it. But the rest is always the same. It's always me, my face. A little bit uh, tan, of course. Why not? But let's not talk too much. Let's go straight to Soccerverse. Today we're gonna see how it ended the last season, which was season one, and then we see how it started season two because it's already started. And I already tell you, my Napoli is been uh, not a little bit weird, unlucky. But let's go right now. Okay, here we are once again all together soccerverse guys finally i missed it i missed you guys i hope you miss me too a lot of things happened a lot of things like a world cup for instance and i missed it but let's let, let's stick to soccerverse what happened in the last season season one let's go back in time league table here we go season one league one and Manchester City, Manchester City super won the championship by 7 points up until the end. I remember the last matches, the last 4 or 5 matches, maybe a, a little bit more were a little bit tighter, but then Manchester City just took off. And Manchester City was managed by Manolito Ten, not fake name, but Manolito Ten maybe is the same manager with different accounts, I don't know, but definitely it was Manolito 10. So congratulations Manolito, you really deserved it. You you led season one in League One. And then Paris Saint-Germain, of course, the Boris. Uh, the Boris was just right beneath him. International by Percival, Tottenham, Skyron Corax, Big Boss, and then Reza, number five. Relegation, unfortunately, unfortunately, as you can see, Napoli, Napoli got re relegated. I got relegated. I have to admit, Napoli is very good in Serie A. In the real world, is winning Serie A by a lot. But in soccer versus League One, is an average team. Is not super team right now, because League One is like the Champions League. You know, League One in soccer versus e, there are, you have Arsenal, you have Real Madrid, Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool. Uh, Juventus all the best of the best of the best so Napoli is great but not yet the super greatest that's why unfortunately I missed to save it from relegation I ended up in the 18th position same point as Roma managed by Robot and Aston Villa 29 by uh, managed by Feral Drop as you can see here a nice addition now and just right next to also Arsenal also Arsenal got relegated you can see on on the next on the right hand side of the manager name a dot green means that they are active yellow or orange means they are less active while uh, red you can hover hover over it to see the last time that they got active in soccerverse which means not only just logging in and do nothing but basically submitting transactions and submitting tactics for instance you can see that the red ones are not very active i think in the past four weeks and yes that's it unfortunately i got relegated shit happens lucky is a beta but i have a long-term strategy with napoli you will see if you follow me you will see okay 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 let's see who has been the best players soccer players of season one attention please not season two i want to see season one in league one who scored the most goal obama young here we go how many goals 16 goals in 30 appearances for obama young in barcelona not bad and then kev what kevin de bruyne 16 goals really more than haaland incredible kevin de bruyne scored more than haaland and in fact he has a ratio of 0 0.46 goals per match 35 appearances 16 goals for kevin de bruyne oh, but my young 30 appearances 16 goals so the ratio is higher that's why he's on the top and then Kylian Mbappé, Paris Saint Germain, and then Danjuma, Villarreal. I wanna also see the performance uh, performances. Here we go. Best performance of season one in League One is Kylian Mbappé. Of course, Kylian Mbappé, 31 appearances, 15 goals for ratio 0.48, 9 assists, 12 times man of the match. A lot. Only one yellow card for an average performance of almost eight out of 10 guys this is crazy the man of last year was Kylian Mbappé of course and then Karim Benzema, Haaland and Lukaku 
Let's have a quick look at the game world. I want to see who's the best manager so far. Of course, Manolito Tan. We can see that Manolito Tan is, is active and is now managing after having won the championship of the champions of season one in League One with his former team. Now he manages Ajax. He manages Ajax and I don't know how he's going. We'll, uh, we'll have a look how, he, how he's going right now. But the first season he was the best, of course. He won the most, otherwise he wouldn't have won League One, Champions One. Okay, now let's move to the new season, season two. Here we go, let's start by looking at League One, the big boss league. Let's see, this is season two. Internazionale is winning the, the League One for, for now, 15 points. Only five matches played in the championship so far. So 15 points means all one in the championship. He's followed by Real Madrid with only two points less. It means that, yes, as you can see here, there is a draw instead of a one. So Real Madrid is following very tightly, managed by Nepai. By the way, Internazionale by Percival. And then Chelsea by Phil Harvey follows only one point below Real Madrid with 12 points. And then Atalanta by JJ in num uh, position number four at the end. Let's see who started badly. Villarreal. Villarreal started pretty bad with only one draw and all the other are lost. So only one point. Flamengo in 19th position managed by SJZ with three points. Newcastle United and Manchester United with, uh, as well with three points. Let's see the players. I'm curious to see who's already starting to show some strengths. If there's already a player that is really, really shiny. It's very, very early in the season. Just, uh, just have a look. Let's have a look in League One. If there's someone, uh, for, for instance, goals, Atalanta. Five appearances, six, six goals. Oh my God, this is a positive ratio. This, this guy scores more goals than games played. Who is this one? Jeremy Boga. Jeremy Boga. Two assists. Even two assists. This is big. More than Karim Benzema. Karim Benzema already started to strong. Already started with five appearances and four goals. Okay, let's see if he can keep it up. But I'm curious to see this Jeremy Boga. Let's have a look at this Jeremy. All right, Jeremy Boga, 88 rating. He's attacking midfielder left, 26 years old. Let let me see the statistics. Maybe from last year. Okay, season one. He played 28 matches in the league, and he only scored three times for an average performances of four. Uh, sorry, 5.61. Pretty bad. But now, something happened. Maybe he changed the position. And it's now playing pretty much, much better. Five presents, six goals, two assists. Crazy. Let me see if maybe they, they changed the rating. No, not yet. Not yet. I don't know. Let's keep an eye on him. Let's keep an eye. Let's see if he can sustain this uh, performance. I don't think so. It's not human otherwise. Okay, let's have a look at uh, my league. Tomorrow, by the way, there's a new match. So let's have a look. League 2A, where I am now, which is not this one. Here we go. League 2A. What's going on in League 2A? We can see that... Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, managed by Grimsor, an active manager, congratulations big boss, it's actually winning, 12 points, followed by Monaco, by a Jack VTV that is not playing, unfortunately for, you know, for the game, but it's second, and then Napoli, my Napoli is right after that, 11 points, only one point from the second position, and first position as well, but my goal difference is not that good, it's only 7, while the, girl, the goal difference Sorry, goal di my goal difference is 4, not 7, it's 4, while the first one is 6, so I should make more goals than the first one, and obviously take less. El Tuco as well, PSV, El Tuco is right there, 10, 10 points. We are all close together, it's very, it's still the beginning, so we are all close together, but, except at the end. At the end we can see that un un unmanaged Krevnazvedda, I don't know where is this from, Krevnaz Devsta has zero points in the championship. We can see that it, it won something. It is probably in a shield or in a cup match, but not in the championship. Season 2. Sorry, League 2A. Got me money. Unfortunately, not really active at the moment, but it's been very active with this big boss in the past. So for now, Southampton is not playing very well automatically. Only 1-1 one, one at the beginning of the championship. Three points and that's it. Everton as well, 
is in relegation zone, 18 position, 4 points, and then Porto by Juvicho. Juvicho, big boss, active, but unfortunately for now, you're in 17 position, but the, the road is still very long, so don't worry. Let's have a look at the transfer market if, is, if there's something juicy, because I need to go shopping, I need to go shopping, I need to get someone, but as you can see, no, nothing is juicy, the maximum rating is 85, let me just double check, but of course, 85, it's already, already sorted by rating, 85, Stecklenburg by Ajax, 40 age, and it's a goalkeeper, nah, don't like it. Also, another one, goalkeeper from da Darlow, from Newcastle, 32 years old, nothing is good. Ah, yes, I put, I put a center back up on sale, because I have too many, at 85 rating, 26 years old, not bad. And it already got two bids. Let's see who's bidding for him. Sergi Luperto. So I list it. I wanna see him. Where can I see it? I don't know how can I see it. Actually, maybe in the squad. Let me see in the squad here. Transfer listed. Ah, oh, transfer bids. No, these are only my bids. If I click on here. I don't know, for now I cannot see it, maybe history, maybe shares, no, votes, no, contract, no, okay, I don't know how to see it, if you know how to see it, who bid for my Luperto, let me know, thank you, but yes, apart from that, nothing very interesting in the transfer market at the moment, so what about the next matches, tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video, it might be already today or tomorrow, for me it's tomorrow, let's go to matches, let's have a look, here we go, League 1, Newcastle against Juventus, Inter, Chelsea, Manchester City, Atletico Madrid, Flamengo, Milan, Sevilla, Villarreal, Real Madrid, Atalanta, Liverpool, Real Sociedad, Barcelona, Olympiacos, Leicester, Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester United, Tottenham, Hotspur, something interesting? Yes, Inter, Chelsea, it's interesting. Also Real Madrid Atalanta, but Inter Chelsea, this can be game changing for the charts. Let me check Inter Chelsea in the charts. Internazionale is first, Chelsea is third. So Chelsea could reach Internazionale at 15 points if it wins, but then it depends on Madrid against Atalanta. So it's interesting, it's interesting. Let's see tomorrow if Real Madrid draws against Atalanta and in any case it doesn't win and Chelsea wins against Inter, then Chelsea could easily become the new number one. Goal difference is only one less of uh, Internazionale, so it's very likely that it can become the new number one, but it depends, he has to win and he has to hope that Real Madrid doesn't win against a pretty in shape Atalanta. Not perfect, but pretty in shape. Let's see, let's see. What about League 2A? League 2A, let's have a look at the matches. League 2A, League 2A, here we go. Montpellier, Brighton, Sporting, Wall Everton, Arsenal, PSV. Let me check if there's something cool. Uh, Krevnadev, Daozazuna, Lazio, Southampton, Monaco, Atletico, Everton, Espanyol, Lille, Sparta, Mosca, Leeds, Napoli. Ooh, this is cool. Leeds, Napoli, Benfica, Porto. Yeah, no, probably not. No. Nothing game changing, at least at first, uh, at first sight. I don't know, let's have a look tomorrow, guys. Okay, that was, that was it. That was very quick. It was a very random walkthrough what happened in Soccerverse that I really wanted to, to make a video, so I did it. But if you're interested in Soccerverse, listen now, listen very carefully because for this new year, by the way, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, everyone. But for this new year, I have good, good plans. I'll keep presenting you weekly sum ups. Like I used to do, like uh, that I used to last year, like this one, this video that I just made. Plus, I'm thinking about interviewing Saya people. Yes, depending on their availability, if they want to do it, I might actually find the time to interview the developers or the founders of Zaya or big bosses of Soccerverse so that me and you can get to know the people that is behind it because they are very very hard workers and that they deserve, they deserve to be known to the world. Plus in the next video I will show you all the updated updates that have been done during the past months. If you go in Discord there is um a server that is called updates actually new releases and there it's a whole list of developments and new additions bug fixing that developers are working non-stop guys non-stop and i'm very impressed and in one of the next video i'll show you exactly all of the new developments that went through this because it's great very great
And then I will also organize an AMA, ask me anything session, again, depending on their availability. And then of course, the talent scouting. Talent scouting will start back very soon. Let me first set them. This is already a beginning, as you can see. I really wanted, I rushed to bring you this video, but I need a bit of time to reorganize all my resources, call my talent scout experts and a speak bot, and nothing provide you the video that you love. And then, and then, of course, there is course, also there is another, another game, game that is not soccer versus that I am playing already and I want you to take in this channel. It's called Treat Fighter. So if you're curious, that's it. Stick around, guys. I'm here. From now on, I'm pretty much back. So stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing here? Subscribe. Ciao.